Dear Lord, it's a storm. Do you see? It's a storm, Lord. I feel the violent disturbance in the atmosphere. The winds of sorrow and shame are disrupting my peace. Dear Lord, the cold air has pressed hard against my skin and it has left me numb and void. Dear Lord, I see the strong winds coming my way. They are ripping and shredding everything I have ever built and hoped for. Dear Lord, I see the rain. I thought it was you sending showers of blessings, but these showers have turned into torrential rains that have flooded my mind with worries and doubts. Dear Lord, I hear the thunderclaps. The loud, explosive and resounding noise has drowned every hope I had for a better day. Dear Lord, I see the lightning bolts. They are striking me at every chance they get. You said I will walk through the fire and not be consumed, but dear Lord, the tempest, the tempest has blown me off my feet and right into the fire. Dear Lord, the storm is raging. I hear the uproar that has brought me nothing but confusion, turmoil and pain. Dear Lord, you said you hear me when I cry, so hear me now as I cry for help because that is all my lungs have been accustomed to do. Hear me now as I cry, how long? How long shall I stand here and cry? How long do I have to dance with defeat, failure and rejection? Dear Lord, my heart bleeds and my muscles hurt from fighting in vain. No matter how hard I try, the pain never goes away, dear Lord. You said if I call upon you in the day of trouble, you would deliver me. So here I am calling. Please save me from the storm because it is pushing me away from you. My dear child, you ask if I see the storm coming. And yes, I do see it coming. I see because I laid everything down from the beginning of time and nothing takes me by surprise. You talk to me about this storm and you try so hard to describe it to me, but you have forgotten that I am the creator of the waters and the seas. My dear child, I know exactly where it hurts because I formed your beating heart and I know how it works. You talk of the storm disturbing your peace, but my child, I tell you the peace I give surpasses all human understanding. It is nothing like the peace you have, so my child, be still. Be still because my grace, my grace is sufficient enough for you. My dear child, your eyes have been set on the storm for so long that you have forgotten that I have set your sails to withstand even the wildest winds. My dear child, you have forgotten that I am that I am and I am this boat on which you are standing on. I am your refuge, your fortress, your stronghold. I am your anchor, your glory, the one who lifts your head high. I am he who cannot fail. I am the one who walks with you through the fire. I am your strength, your hiding place, your rock. I am the one who walks in water trampling its power under my feet. My dear child, I am the one whose voice the winds and waves obey. So what victory do you cry out for when victory has already been won on the cross for you? My dear child, open your eyes and see that I am more real and closer than you think. I am the one who hears you when you call. I am the one who heals your broken heart and binds up your wounds. My dear child, I am the one who will set your feet firmly on the ground so that you cannot and will not be moved by even the wildest winds until I say so. Because my dear child, I am sovereign. So why do you focus on the storm when you can focus on me? Do you not know, have you not heard that I am the Lord, the everlasting God? My dear child, I love you and the storm can never push you away from me because I have secured you in the hollow of my hands. So my dear child, do not fret, forget the storm because I am bigger.